welcome back to Simon and Sagas. Today we will be um, doing a session about um, magnets. Well, not a session, but um, yeah, whatever. But um, so um, we're gonna be doing it about magnets. And um, if you would like to know some fact about some magnets, um, I'm gonna tell you some. So um, some of what the main metals that are only attract some of the main metals that are attracted to magnets are iron, nickel, and cobalt. And also, magnets also, I can make it to TV. And um, also, um, the Earth's magnetic field is a thousand times weaker than this magnet that you might put on your fridge. So, um, yeah, uh, would you like to share anything? Person behind the camera? Yeah, I'd like to share something. You have some pretty cool magnets here. Yeah, what about these other ones with elements on them? Oh, um, I had like a set and um, like they were like periodic table fridge magnets and I could um, make the periodic table with magnets. Cool. What about this one, this blue one with an S on it? I am God of Humpty. Very cool. Simon, those are some cool magnetic facts, but uh, we also have a special announcement today. Um, from last week's um, challenge, um, congratulations to um, M for um, creating um, a really cool boat. Um, it was about like 19 or 18 spoons. Yeah. Those are spoons. Yeah, so you were seeing the weight with coins Emrys was seeing the weight with Spins. pretty strong boat that he created. What if somebody did like just a very small piece of tinfoil like this big and I could hold the whole thing? That would be pretty cool. Well, there would be no water to test. <laughs> unless, All right. space, unless space counts as water. Space, yeah, it could. Um, tell us some more facts. And, um, um, like, um, north plus north, or south plus south, south, um, repels, the opposites, um, attract, so. Well, what are those, though? We don't know what those so, are. Like, on this picture right here. You're gonna draw one. <laughs> so you're going to draw us a magnet with its magnetic field. So why does your magnet have two sides on it? Because um, there's a north side and also a south side. Interesting. The um, way magnets um, like attract each other is that um, on two magnets, there's both the north and the south side on each magnet. So um, if a north goes next to a north, they repel, which means like stay apart. But if a uh, south goes near a north, they attract. Okay. Yeah. Can you show us the magnetic field on your drawing? Uh, so you're creating a north side of your magnet and a south side of your magnet. It's like a weird hot dog. It does look like a weird hot dog. One. So what exactly are you drawing here? Can you tell us as you're drawing? I don't know. Copying off of that. Because <laughs> I have no idea what the um, like, thing about that magnet field thing is. Oh, well, this is the direction that magnets flow, that magnetism flows. So this is how it all flows.
Okay, and then what happens on the very ends? Right here? Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, what you're showing is the flow of a magnetic field and how that attraction works. It kind of follows a pattern. And this is the pattern. Yeah. All right. So the lines that you drew are? Invisible force fields that attract and repel um, atomic levels. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, magnetic field. And um, we know that Earth acts as one giant magnet, too. Well, a magnet with a flaming core. Yeah, I guess that's true. And a bunch of parasites. That is also true. And kind of mold. Kind of. A.K.A. trees. True. <laughs> um, a moldy magnet which, with a burning core. True. Where do we see magnets around the house? Fridges. Like inside the motor of a fridge, as well as on a fridge. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah? There's a bunch of magnets over them, pictures. Um, Where else are magnets used in around the house? Here. With toys? Yeah. Okay, where else? They're also on like motors, toothbrushes, well, electric toothbrushes, um, fridges, as um, she just said. And also headphones. I have no idea how headphones have. Uh, yeah, we'd have to uh, have a look at how headphones are made to figure out where the magnet pieces are. I'll go see all chains real quick. <laughs> and, and take apart some headphones. I'm not really sure if chainsaws are required, but I'll go get one. All right. So, yeah. Simon, you have two cool activities. But before we get to the activities, do you have a joke for us? What did the pin say to the magnet? You attract me. Oh. <laughs> right at the same time as you uh, pull apart the pen. <laughs> All I'm right. Gone. I broke apart a plastic pen. All right. So we have two activities to show you. Two. So can you tell us how these work as toys so, and um, their magnets? There are magnets on these like dots and stuff, even on the wheels. Oh, these are not. Okay, but and also here. I know. So there's magnets. Yeah. But um, we could also kind of take advantage of that. So right here, we I guess we have a railroad. Yeah. A, a pretty strong magnet, a bar magnet. Okay, I guess we'll go like this. Mm. Right. So you're trying to move your train along um, the path there were you successful at I'm not, that i'm not doing it myself i'm not doing it i'm not even touching it oh no not at all now i have a challenge for you simon microscopic atoms cannot touch i have a challenge unless they chemically fuse true technically what if what fuse with my skin atoms i have a challenge for you with these magnet trains yep check this out we have two trains. Look at there if it. Oh, no, no, no. I had it there for a reason. Look at this. So here, I'll show you this way first. We can move them together by attracting them. But look. Um, the magnet had iron Oh, yeah, I could see that. Um, but look at we can also move it by repelling. Watch this. Now I turn the train around and it can repel. So I'm moving it by repelling it. Isn't that cool? Nom, nom, nom. Now, Simon, can you move this green train around the path by repelling it with the yellow train? It's pretty tricky. Oh, <laughs> it's really tricky. And it's tricky to make it go in a direction that you want. Let's see if it's working here. 
Look, it, it keeps jumping direction. Pretty cool though, hey? So you can move a magnet both by the attraction side and by repelling it too. I did it, I did it. All right, now we have one more activity to show you. And this came of a discovery that Simon made the other day. Simon, what did you discover the other day? Well, there are iron, iron filings and magnets. I'm, I'm, I'm in sand. How did you discover that there's iron filings in so, sand? Me and my mom were going on a bike ride because my sister was at school. Because their school is canceled because of the main restrictions. And then, like, they saw my friend in the sandbox with a stick at the back, with a magnet at the end. And he was, like, putting sand on the magnet and then dump, um, the brushing the sand off and, like, getting metal. Well, I tried to be exact. And so you tried it with some sand we have at home. And what happened? Um, we found some iron files. Just in sand. You can collect a bunch of metal out of the sand. So we have... You can get rich by using magnets and sandboxes. All right, so check this Whoa. out. Simon grabbed some sand from the yard, and um, you have a very strong magnet, and you're going to show us and see if we can collect some iron filings. Okay, do you see any on there? Well, leftovers from the last time I collected some. Do you see a lot or just a little bit? Okay, so keep going. Bingo. You think you got some more on there now? Can I see it up close? Sure. I think that you're starting to see, I'm just gonna try to get it in focus here. You can see the sand on there, but you can also see the little black flecks, which are the iron filings. So you are collecting iron out of this sand, Simon. Look at that, look at that. Okay, well, let's try to collect some more then. Okay, it does take time and patience. Also, um, you know how this focus on the phone? You can do that with your eyes and you can see the little iron filings. Oh, cool. Like you can see them in the sand. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Can you see if you can collect a little bit more before we finish up today? Look at the knife. No. It's in there. Did you find any more on there? Oh, I collected more sand. I collected more sand. Can I see? I want to see if I can wiggle it around in here and try to collect some more. It's kind of like, it's more um, like you can collect a lot more in like dry sand. That is true. That could be a factor because it was raining here this morning, right? A little bit damp outside. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Some of the sand is covering up the iron filings, but you can still see them there. Oh, look, now you can see them off the edge. You can see them poking up. Random fact. Did you know a fact is a fact? That's quite interesting and very scientific, Simon. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm the first one to discover it. A fact is a fact. And that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's our challenge for our folks this okay, week? Um, so, um, since we are trying to collect iron um, filings from this, why was I looking for the magnet? I put it in the blue dish. <laughs> okay, but, um, so, um, as you saw, we were um, looking for iron filings, um, but we want you to do is, like, good magnet or any type. It doesn't have to be the bar magnet that we are using. But, um, so, um, what you're going to do is you're going to um, get some sand. Like, it doesn't have to like be like dry or wet sand or anything. This is just what we used. But uh, you, you're, the challenge is to um, try and get some like iron filings from the sand because they're quite a lot. Yeah, and another way of approaching the challenge. From another way. <laughs> 
Another way to do the challenge is to find a magnet like off your fridge or something and see what items around your house or in nature might be magnetic. Take, take a picture. If you do both challenges, you can help them. Let's just see <laughs> Okay, so you can do one or other of the challenge or both. Post a picture and we're excited to see what you find. Yeah. Adios, amigos. I'll be eating burrito. Just kidding. I don't like burrito. Bye.